desperate child Megan determinedly pushed kids apart from her father Thomas then scoffed back. In an interview on Thursday evening, Mr. Markle claimed the Duchess of Sussex, 40, had allegedly asked him to stop talking to his other children, Samantha, 56, and Thomas Markle Jr., 55, despite the alleged request, Mr. Markle refused to do so, which he said resulted in some of the issues they have experienced. Indeed, Mr. Markle claimed he loved all his children and that Meghan had not made any effort to reach out and be friendly. During an interview with GB News, Mr. Markle, 77, said, Meghan wanted me to stop talking to both my older children, and I can't do that. They're my children, I love all my children. Even when they're not performing well and even when they're bad, I still love them. Meghan wasn't making any effort to reach out and try to be friendly. My daughter, Samantha, reached out to her and just got a phone hung up on her. Her father then went on to say Meghan had a relationship with both her siblings. He did, however, claim she had become distant from the pair as they got older. He said, when Meghan was growing up, Samantha would carry her around and would take her for ice cream. She had a relationship with both Tom and Samantha. She can't deny it, there are photographs of it, you can see the photographs of it. You can see them together. They drifted apart when Meghan turned 10 or 11 because they left and went to other states and got jobs. They drifted apart then but there was no hostility at that point. Thomas Jr. and Samantha are the children from their father's first marriage to Rosalind Lovelace. Away from her family, Meghan has spoken of the need for paid family leave in the US. Indeed, Meghan penned a letter to Democrat grandees, Charles Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. She said, I'm not an elected official, and I'm not a politician. I am, like many, an engaged citizen and a parent. And because you and your congressional colleagues have a role in shaping family outcomes for generations to come, that's why I'm writing to you at this deeply important time, as a mom, to advocate for paid leave. I'm writing to you on behalf of millions of American families who are using their voices to say that comprehensive paid leave should not be a place to compromise or negotiate. In fact, most nations already have paid leave policies in place. Estonia, for example, offers over a year and a half of leave to be shared by new parents. Many other countries have robust programs that give months of time for both parents, birth or adoptive, to be home with their child. The United States, in stark contrast, does not federally guarantee any person a single day of paid leave. And fewer than one in four workers has dedicated paid family leave through their employer. I'm sure you agree that if we are to continue to be exceptional, then we can't be the exception. Thomas Markle appeared on GB News to discuss Meghan's recent legal battle with Associated Newspaper and was happy the truth about her was finally coming out. Mr. Markle spoke with host Dan Wooden who asked how he felt about following the revelation she prepared for her letter written to him to be leaked and changed the way she wrote it in expectation. Mr. Markle said thank God for Jason Knauf before saying he would treat him to a meal for standing up to her. Mr. Markle reminded Mr. Wooden he could not comment much on the court case but shared his thoughts on Prince Harry and Meghan's relationship with her siblings. Mr. Markle was angry that Prince Harry did not do things by the book and asked him for his daughter's hand in marriage. He remarked he would have expected a visit from him and some etiquette because he is a royal. Mr. Markle also dismissed claims Meghan was not close to her siblings and said they had spent time together when they were younger.